Well, Ken Stedman is a virologist and professor of biology at Portland State University. He joins us now from Portland. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. I mean, how worried should we be here? We're talking about 200 cases in a population of over 1 billion in China. Is, is it dangerous? So I completely agree with you. The danger to my interpretation has been somewhat overstated. At the same time, it is certainly concerning, and I think that both the WHO and the Chinese authorities are doing a very good job in trying to keep track of what's happening in this particular case. As you say, six deaths at this point, that is relative to just in the United States, we have almost 40 children who have died from flu in this year alone. So relatively speaking, the numbers are still very, very small. Right. Is there a risk, though, that, you know, we in the media are kind of playing the boy who cried wolf? Because if something more threatening does arise, will people take it seriously? That's a great question. I think that we should also bear in mind that this particular new virus is not dissimilar from the SARS virus, for which there were 8,000 cases. That's a total of 8,000 cases worldwide and about 800 deaths. And what we found out from SARS was that we've actually got a pretty good handle on how to deal with these kinds of new coronaviruses. And how to deal with these new coronaviruses is really to isolate the people who have them. And in that process, they disappear. There haven't been cases of SARS for over 10 years now. And that was a much more deadly virus, 10 times more deadly virus than apparently this new one. Right. T tell me, actually, as far as this virus is concerned, the coronavirus, who, who's dying from it? Are we talking about, you know, otherwise strong healthy people, or is it kind of the elderly or the very young, or maybe those with a compromised immune system that are actually suffering the most? So my understanding is it really is, as you say, people with pre-existing conditions that are the people who are actually dying from this disease. Personally, I'm relatively fit. I would go straight to Wuhan right now, and I would not be concerned in the least. I would take care to wash my hands and not get too close to someone who I knew was sick, but otherwise I would be perfectly happy. In the broader picture though, I you know, heard virologists say before that technically the world is due uh, for a new pandemic. We have to be careful because something has to come as it always does in, in the, the cycle of global history. I, do you think that's true? I think that one of the things that we did learn from SARS, which was a great learning experience, is that these things will come up again and again, and what we need is surveillance. Again, you mentioned the numbers. Wuhan is a city of 44 million people, and they found 40 cases, 40 cases out of 44 million who had a new disease that was causing them to get sick. They found out what that disease was. They identified it. They made a test. This test is brand new. And I think part of the reason that there are more and more cases that people have now discovered is they actually now have a test so they can discover that there is this particular new virus. As I mentioned earlier, flu, regular seasonal influenza, kills hundreds of thousands of people every single year. And we have a vaccine for it, and a lot of people don't even get vaccinated. I think the big concern here is there is no specific vaccine for this virus, and people are, I think, quite reasonably concerned it's something which is new, it's something that we don't know about. But I think we really do need to keep it in proportion and think about the fact this is a very small amount. And in terms of new pandemics, I think the important thing is we have this kind of surveillance. And I give the Chinese doctors great credit here for discovering this particular new virus and letting the world know about it. Ken Stedman, great to have you. Thanks so much for joining us there from Portland, Oregon. We appreciate it.